So I wanted to do a more detailed comparison of performance of Roam and LogSeq and I've actually imported my whole Roam database into LogSeq. Uh, so this is starting Roam. Uh, it's actually um, incredibly much faster than it used to be. So not bad at all. Uh, let's see, LogSeq, <laughs> that was fast. Uh, is it really that fast? Um, it looks like it's just where it was. Uh, let me just close this. So if I, okay, so it takes a little bit of time to close it. Now, if I open it, Okay, so it's also very fast. So that's that's really no problem at all. Um, and that, that's a huge improvement. So basically these two views have exactly the same notes. Um, this is a pretty large Roam research database. I've been writing on and off, I would say quite a lot for the last uh, two years. So we can see here the all pages. Um, also, it's been improved a lot. It used to be a lot slower. Um, doesn't actually tell you how many. Um, let's look at all pages here. Faster. Um, you know, it's surprising how similar these are. Uh, but one nice thing here, it says 9,168 pages. So most of these are empty because I do most of my writing on my daily pages. So let's see here, backlinks. Um, so pages with the most backlinks, of course, some of these are just daily plan and stuff. Um, Andy Matushak, Joel Chan, Awakening from the Meaning Crisis. Um, this one doesn't have size, um, that would have been nice. This one, let's see, word count. I'm guessing these would be, I can guess what's going to be on top here. Um, probably some of my book notes and then my daily pages. Okay. Yeah, oh well, actually Instapaper, <laughs> uh, some daily pages, um, some specific things, right. So, um, fair amount of content, and let's go back here. Okay, so, first question is, let's see, scrolling through daily pages. I just did a down here. Let's see, I wasn't in focus. Okay, so I'm going to do, do it down with the mouse. And there it is. There. It's December 27th. It's taking a while. There it is. That took quite a while, actually. A few. 22nd. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's taking surprisingly long to load. Uh, come on, come on. I'm trying to, to go down with the mouse. There it came. And there was actually nothing there even. That that took really long, actually, surprisingly. So let's look at this one earlier. Can I just do go, go down? No, I need to press earlier. Oh, there it came. Okay. So it seems faster. Um, it's also... Okay. So let's go into this page. And oh, let's try to type something. So, and, uh, let's see. And, yeah, I don't want that. Let's just go for English. I'm typing pretty quickly. Of course, there is no lag here. And this was pretty quick as well. So creating new bullets used to sometimes be slow, but it says it can pretty much keep track, deleting bullets, we can pretty much keep track. Um, let's try indenting. This is actually very responsive now. Uh, absolutely no complaints about this at all. So let's try here. So of course the normal typing is fine. There's a tiny lag when creating a new bullet, but not really not not bad at all. Let's see. Deleting bullets, there's a bit of gaps. If I do 
they're like batched. Interesting. I wonder if that's the case here. Let's get a bunch of empty bullets. Yeah, so this is definitely more responsive. I mean, not a super common thing, and you can just select all, and it's, you know, fast enough. Um, Pressing the one button there. Yep. So But there you see if I'm if I'm typing and pressing enter, it does get kind of again hung up, whereas here it's constantly keeping pace. So yeah, it's definitely more responsive on the ROM side. Whether that is okay, I just pressed delete. Um, did I? Interesting. Seems like you cannot delete if, so I can do a block selection, that'll work. I can do an in block selection, but what I don't seem to be able to do, I don't even know how I was able to do that. Somehow I was able to get into a mode where, huh, interesting. I was able to get into a mode where text was selected across, but it was not something like that. Weird. So there's something about the multi-select that's a little bit buggy. Okay. Yeah, that's annoying though. I wish I wish that could get more responsive. So a really common thing when you're doing a work is linking. And of course, as we saw, I have about 8,000 links. And when we're doing the, the autocomplete, we want those to come quickly. So let's try, if I want to do John Ravicki. Uh, Peter Atia, I don't know who that is. John Mitch. I mean, it's it's fast enough. Um, let's see on this one. It's interesting that the autocomplete algorithm is slightly different. So, for example, here, these are exactly the same databases. So, if I type Peter here. It starts with just uh, suggesting Peter, lowercase, and, and normal case, which is what I would expect, honestly. Here, um, ah, I see what's going on. It's actually merged Peter and Peter because um, logseq is not case sensitive. Um, yeah, one th thing I'm curious about is that a lot of my page names ended up uh, lowercase, um, whereas here they're uppercase. And I'm not quite sure why that happened when it was getting ported over. Um, but it's easy to fix, I guess. Um, let's see, I guess it should be exactly the same thing. It's fine. Um, so that's that's good. Okay, let's try opening a very big page. So Sapiens, for example. So I'm pressing Convent U to jump here. Sapiens. Pretty fast. There's a tiny lay delay there, but that's fine. For this one, let's see, is it command K? Yes. Sapiens. That's a long delay. There we are. So the page looks looks totally fine. Um, well, <laughs> what did I say? Uh, this is probably just me. I think I imported a Twitter. What did I do here? Why is it? Let's see. I'm, I think I, it's the same thing here, more or less. Yeah. It actually, yeah, it goes out a little bit. No, yeah, it goes out a little bit further. Uh, <laughs> so it, it looks nicer. But uh, yeah, this is basically me importing a, a very deeply nested Twitter um, conversation. So either way, it's going to be difficult to present, but this is, you know, obviously Rome is doing better than uh, LogSeq here. Um, scrolling here is super fast. Scrolling here as well. Okay, <laughs> I should get rid of this thing. Um, let's see. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, let's see. Let's get rid of this thing. Oh, wow. So a lot of... I wonder why that is. Um, if 
doesn't seem I wonder if the gaps are bigger on Luxie, because that's stuff that I wrote. That should not be. Let me see. Let me find the same section. Uh, one physical evolution. So let's say one physical evolution. If I expand that fully, let's see. Does it go to the same extent? No. Why didn't I expand that fully? Physical evolution. Uh, oh, oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's interesting. Um, there is a recursive, um, a recursive thing going on here, right? Where I'm embedding. So basically, here I am embedding something, right? And I'm actually embedding this 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 uh, bullet. Um, which has this embed in it. So what happens is that it just keeps recursing, I guess, one, two, three, four, five levels, but then it's six, but then it stops. Embed depth is too deep. So the funny thing to me here is like, if you were, why would you ever want to embed something six times, but not more? Like what Rome does is it just says, hey, you know, this is recursive. I'm just going to stop you right there, which to me, like, honestly, I probably shouldn't have embedded this, but other than that, like, okay, it seems like it's embedding it twice, maybe. Huh. Either way, like, I probably shouldn't have a recursive embed, but, you know, this just seems silly to me. Um, like, why six and not, you know? Uh, did I do that again? Yes, yeah, so this is basically, I guess I did that a bunch of times, because basically I'm trying to just create... Um, Spaced repetition questions. Um, that's why. That's why that's happening. Okay, that's interesting. Um, but yeah, I mean, scrolling is totally fine. Um, you know, folding. Huh? It's a bit of a lag there. Click. Click. Yeah, there's a big bit of a lab, lag there. Let's see here. If I'm folding this, click. Yeah, it's faster, much faster. Um, one big thing, I don't think um, fold, fold, unfold. Yeah, it's it's slower. Um, I feel like I've seen something about expand all, but I don't see it anywhere. So I mean, one of the things I really like is you can expand all and you can collapse all. Um, so I can collapse all, and now they're all, you know, deeply co collapsed. Uh, but I can also, like, expand all. Now everything's expanded. I often like that. Um, but I can also, like, long press on this thing, or long press on this thing, too. So that might be possible in LogSeq. I haven't really found out how yet. That's really important to me, though. So, um, And then we have these queries. Actually, it's very easy to fix them. It's just a tiny bit of a different syntax. So let's see if we just do, we actually don't need this. So if we just, and we don't need the CSS, well, I have this little CSS thing, which won't, probably won't work because it has different, don't need this. I think we don't need, so this is the simplest query you could ever imagine and it works fine. Um, Uh, you can even do a full table view, which Rome doesn't have. Um, so um, that's fine. Uh, what if I do a query? I know in Rome sometimes queries for like big things used to be a big problem, but I think they're not anymore. So for example, what was the thing that has the most in, in links like daily plan? Um, or like Andy Matushek? Query, let's see, and Andy. So, oh, it's only 79 results. Didn't you, I guess, is that because of its, there's uh, some pages where he's linked a lot? I guess so, because it had like 250 inbound links. But 
yeah, this used to be really slow, unlike when you have like a few thousand hits, but I know that there was work done to reduce the number of hits shown or um, speed this thing up. So um, you can gr group by page, which is the case, or you can do that, that and you can also show paths or not. So that's, that's really neat as well, even though you don't have the, the table. So what does that look like here? So if I do a test page and I do a query, I can do just that. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty fast. Um, And you actually don't, so you only have the table, you don't have the option of um, uh, grouping by page or not and, and removing the, the path, which is also stuff that I was doing, well, at least removing the path was stuff that I was doing with CSS, but it would be cool to like add some of these options here. Um, honestly, like graph view, I don't really care about um, all pages. Um, flashcards, uh, Rome doesn't have them, so it's not an easy compare. I'm not sure what else would be fast or slow. Um, so overall, not bad. Um, Rome has actually doesn't have a lot of new features, but um, in the last you know half a year, but I feel like there's been a lot of work done in performance. It's actually um, pretty snappy, quite a big improvement um, from where it used to be. And LogSeq is not bad. There are some notable um, uh, slowdowns. Uh, one was loading a really big page. Um, another one we can do is Awakening from the meaning crisis. So I, oh, that was that was not bad. I guess that's not as big. Well, let's try the Instapaper inbox. This might. Yeah, I don't like the space here. Like I, I get the yellow part. That's nice, but I don't like the space in in box because that's actually one word. So that that's misleading. Um, but let's see. Click. Still waiting. Still waiting. There we are. So this is legitimately a really, 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 really big page. So, you know, fair enough. Probably shouldn't do that too often. But sometimes it's good to put a lot of content on a page and then you can like block ref that stuff and, and search it and use it for other stuff. Um, but still, you know, work to be done. Let's try here. So again, like the, the, the yellowing here is much nicer. I wonder about the search results actually. Um, right, so it's not grouping them. It's basically showing, so each hit on that page gets its own headline instead of grouping them, which I don't think is as nice. I guess B is, is a block. Um, if I click on this, will it jump there? Of course, now we have to wait for that page to load. That's good. That's good. How about, how about Rome? Yeah, so I think this kind of um, formatting is much nicer. That it shows these are blocks found on this page. Um, okay, so let's just choose a block here, this one. So that's the difference. Um, that's interesting. So um, for Rome, it zooms into that block, um, which is, you know, legitimately useful for some things. Um, it's faster. You don't have to parse the whole page. Um, one sad thing is if you go back, I think there was a plugin to do this, but right now if you go back, I'm just going to get to, first of all, it takes forever. I don't know, that was, that was fast. But then I get to the top level here and I have no idea where that thing was. Um, whereas here, you don't see the block. It actually loads the whole page, but it zooms in and it highlights the block, which is also nice because you can always zoom in, um, but, but, but you can also see that block in the context of uh, the whole page, except this takes a long time. Uh, maybe it should be caching or something. I don't know. Well, that wasn't too bad. So maybe it does some caching because it took much longer at first. Let me let me try that again. Actually, let me just go. Yeah. Maybe not. Yeah. 
I mean, I can live with this, to be honest. If this is um, the exception, and let's say Andy. Okay, that was a short one. I mean, that was fast. Linked references. Yeah. It's not bad. Um, it, um, it's not bad. Um, the main... I think the main things would be improving um, the loading of really long articles and maybe, you know, trying to render the top part first or something, although that's super hard because there could be references and everything. I don't know actually wh where the time goes. And the other thing is just making the typing experience slightly more responsive. It's not a deal breaker, but it, it is something that you notice whenever um, it starts kind of lagging behind and um, batching updates. Um, but yeah, this was... A uh, quick, very unscientific um, look at LogSeq in Rome, and in the process, we got to see a few kind of mini changes, changes, um, differences in in, uh, in UI as well.